Okay, let's do it. So I could delay my attack till the end of turn, or I could attack now. The enemies will get one extra defense because of terrain. I forgot about that, so there'll be two two units. I'm not too worried. My tank should be able to defend against all these guys. Let's go ahead and attack. If we had multiple armies here, we would be able to select which army we wanted to go first, second, or third, etc., etc. Same with the enemies. This is how many a action points I have in case I needed to remember because of fate cards, which normally cause cost you action points to deploy them in combat. But we don't have any, so let's start a battle. Okay, here's where we arrange the units. If I had more than just, well, just two units, if I had three units, I could decide to put one in the back rank. This guy has a range of two, so if he was back here, he could strike enemies who might be on this rank while protected from enemy attacks. They'd have to try to attack past him. This is pretty good, though. Uh, this is our hero slot. As you can see, only one hero can be in an army. He's generally the general. When it comes to battles like this one, we're pretty good. I can look at the enemy info. My info. Or... I don't know what this stands for. Um, other something body info. <laughs> okay, we're, we're pretty good, though. We're also in supply, so that's good. We're ready. During the first round, you do not have the option to retreat, unless you are a trickster. Uh, that would be a special trait on the hero leading your army. Or a unit, I suppose. I can't think of any unit that has trickster, but maybe one does. I'm the attacker, so I get plus 5. I have aggressive, it gives me plus 5. I have a command rating of... I guess half my command rating gets added to this. And I have 4 fate. This gives me a total of 18 points. The enemy is a defender. Doesn't have aggressive. No command rating because you don't have a hero. No fate because you don't have a hero. So I definitely go first. Over here, I can pass my turn if I don't want to attack or I want someone else to attack first. I can then see the orders in which attacks are happening. Me, the enemy, the enemy, the enemy, and then the enemy. I can quit this combat, this game, at any point just by hitting quit if I wanted to. If I don't really like how combat's going and don't feel like watching my army get slaughtered. That said, I think we're ready to go, though. This is my tiger. It has breakthrough, so if I, if I destroy a slaver and they had an unit in their back rank, I would get a free attack against something in the back rank, but I would have to inflict a wound on something in the front rank. It also has shock attack. If it doesn't kill an enemy, it commits it. That means that that enemy I struck misses its turn. You could consider it pinning or something of the sort. Let's go ahead and attack. So to have this attack, I would right-click on the card, and then select the option, the action I want it to do. Since the tiger can only do a normal combat attack, that's the only option available to us. I then get this target reticule, and I can target one of these cards. Let's get this guy. I have seven dice to their two defense. We go ahead and roll the dice, and then we'll see what happens. So the Independents can see the challenge, they take 5 hit points, and he's destroyed. He gets an attack back because he has Vengeance. And he didn't hit me. Oh wow, I only rolled one defense. When it comes to the dice, I'm pretty sure that the dice aren't 50-50. I think it's the equivalent of a 5 or a 6. I think each dice is 33%. We'll accept that roll. Independents don't have any fate, so they're forced to accept it as well. Now the rest of them will go in and make attacks against me. My tank should be able to handily block each of these attacks that they're doing. Alright, next round. What's interesting is each round I got less and less defense. I wonder why that is. Maybe that was an option in one of the patches I downloaded. I had seven dice, but near the end there I was rolling only, like, five. I wonder why that was. Okay, so our tank's gonna go again. Combat attack against the slaver. And it destroys him as well. I hit the target. He's been hit, takes four damage, and is destroyed. He gets a vengeance attack back on me. 
I've easily blocked it. Okay, now it's their turns. We have seven defense against his two attack. He completely missed me. Oh, it looks like I lose a defense for every time I'm attacked. That's interesting. Sorry, in all the time I've played the game, I've never saw that before. Alright, next round. Same as before. Combat attack against a slaver. Destroyed him as well. Whoo! Just barely blocked that one. Block that one as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe it's every attack at past two? Or past three? I, I don't know. I'll have, to read, I'll have to read the rules. And finally, this last slaver. Oh, before we do that... Wow, look at these guys. Beating up those those poor people. Oh, he, he's got his arms crossed and has a whip in his hand. It's pretty awesome. And the last two damage has been inflicted. He is quite dead. We've won! And it looks like there is one science, uh, one energy, and one tech available here. No humans, though. I was really hoping for that. With only one of each, I'm also tempted not to deploy my... Oh, no. The Imperial Keep would also give me supply for throughout this area, which I sorely need. I am just out of supply from hitting this town. But I know that town probably has more than just one of each resource. Okay. First things first. We're going to move patrol into the mountains. Okay, nothing there either. So far, that's pretty good. Um... Vladimir Kost, although he's here, I don't think, yeah, he can't build energy or tech because they both require human resources, which I'm really short of. Uh, I believe I remembered when I made this deck saying that I wouldn't take the one hero who generates a human resource. You might be thinking that was obviously a huge mistake, but since he's only one card in my entire deck, I can't reliably hope to get him. Once you discard cards as well, you can't ever get them back. It's the same as if you decided to destroy it. So it's generally for the best that you don't discard cards if you can help it. That said, I'm going to draw another one and hope I get a Terminus. I'm sorry, a, uh, uh, a Firebase. I did not. I got another tank. I got another tank, another panther. All right, let's end our turn. Perfectly happy going... Uh-oh. Oh. Second. That's not good. If they took a while, they might have seen me, and the computer decided to rethink what it was doing. It is turn 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... He could be over here, looking at me right there. We're going to start moving this patrol to help patrol where I am up there. Discovered fuel storage tanks. I may choose to claim it or ignore it. We'll definitely claim it. Wow, seven energy. That's awesome. Oh, I really would love to be able to de to put that and keep here, but I know there's more resources right in that spot. Okay, we're going to spend that one human resource. Okay. We're gonna... I need to get cards out of my hand. That's all there is to it. So we're gonna upgrade our, our Imperial Palace. This will let us deploy a War College here. Which I also cannot upgrade because that requires a human resource. I'm getting unlucky. I haven't found any other resource random resources lying around here. With that in mind now, 
Let's see, where's my supply? We'll have this guy hunt around. We'll go one, two, three with them. Oh, no, we can't. We, de we already moved him. We're going to keep Vladimir Koss here. He gets an extra defense die with that tank, which is not going to be easy for someone to defeat. Though, I'm going to really need to put another unit here soon. Another card? I got another tank, didn't I? I'm going to discard a panther. And draw another card. I'm going to discard the Grom. And draw another card. Eh, that's not so bad. We might use that next round. Okay, I'm desperate for a non... <laughs> I'm desperate for a fire base. I want a fire base. Okay, so we're going to move this guy one, two, three, and do a little bit more scanning. Hello? What have we here? Holy guacamole. The Cthulhu guys are here. He's attack 12, defense 6. Holy crap, he's strong. With 13 hit points also. What is this? A strange gate. Wow, reconnaissance, strength 10, range 3. We want that. How on earth can I take that? Okay. We're going to pull our... Uh, that's out of supply, isn't it? It's not out of supply. And it counts as one. Okay. We really need to take that. Cost Company is heading back to base. While he's here, we're going to try to do some fate research. I'm not going to spend the human resources because I'm going to want another one of these tanks deployed to my force. I'm going to need them if I'm going to hope to kill this guy. But fate points will be really helpful for me too. So I'll show you how to do that. So because there is a war college here in this facility, I can use... Vladimir Coast here, and oh, I can create advanced training. Well, this helps infantry. It doesn't help me. Oh, he's. I'm sorry, the one. He's not a tactician. Oh, well, I need him back here anyway to make a bigger army. But the good news is I can show you what, how, what tr advanced training is. Advanced training are special cards that only affect infantry. They don't affect anything else. You can't use these to uh, increase power battle armor. You can't use them to increase your tanks or, or anything of the sort. And we can see here that they and each unit can only benefit from one type of training. So toughness training, defensive training, you can only select one of them and apply it to a, a unit. We'd probably want to have my light infantry have either defense training, toughness training, or tactical training, all of which are would be really nice. In any case, they go into your normal hand, just like all your other cards, and I don't really have any reason to do that. We're actually kind of done, because I don't have enough human resources. I wanted to play another shock tank here. And my other hero can't develop tactics, I think. Can you? Armored core. No, you can't develop tactics either. Well, I can start discarding more cards from my hand, so let's discard the light infantry. Draw another card. Another panther. I've gone through a lot of my deck already. 